I'm so excited for you to get to the second game. <laughs> Lucky! A bong! That's Hero's love gift. Are you ready okay, before we before we do this trial and we find out how soccer died and what happened, I just want to tell you that once you beat the game, there is a mode where you can go around talking to people and collect their underwear. Alright, let's go. <sighs> okay. And in the rest of that Danganronpa games, that's just a feature in the main game. What is this, Honey Pop? Honey Pop! That's great. I love seeing what kind of underwear people wear. Moving on. If you want, I can show you the underwear of all the people that are dead. And then, you know, it'll be like a survivor thing. Once you die, your underwear are made public domain. Monku made his announcement. Everyone began to meet up one after another. And then... <laughs> the ultimate martial artist! A locked room murder mystery! You're not reading the emojis, Gabe. Come on. I... I mean... Okay. <laughs> oh, I've just recently discovered the power of emoticons! I, I wasn't sure how to read those. I know, exactly. Figure it out. Like, no matter how awful someone is, if you toss in a smiley face, it turns positive. Yes, indeed. For example, <laughs> you're at a picnic and you find a dead body, XD. <laughs> XD, rawr, XD. That's just plain creepy. Well, no, about the reverse. No matter how great something is, if you put in a sad face, it makes it look super negative. Yes, For example, do you have a hundred friends? T underscore T. He's right. That does say make it seem sad. Now then, please get on the elevator. O underscore Big O. I'll see you all the way down there. I'm not doing that. Pointing, I, I guess, it. like swinging your arms around, like yeah. Y you know the thing I do where I point to one side and like Phoosh, and point the other way. That thing, that thing I used to do whenever we hung out. No, like I know. I mean, I do do that a lot, but shut the fuck up. I don't get it. Just the worst. I don't get you guys. I actually need to adjust my audio level. I actually need to adjust uh, mm, your bitch ass level. You got me, I guess. Yeah, I did. Motherfucker. 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 Bushing down on me. Bushing down. <laughs> I don't know why I thought of that. How can you act so casual after murdering someone? D don't look Literally me. everybody that's been a murderer so far? What? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I'm acting casual. Or, I mean, I didn't murder anyone. What the heck? Yeah, I'm completely innocent. How dare you call me a murderer? Uh, I mean. I mean. <laughs> whatever. Either way, the truth will be revealed soon enough. Because there can be no doubt one of us is the culprit. The killer. The one that murdered Sakura. I deadass thought that said Sayaka. I was like, wait, what? Uh, uh, what happened? She was stronger than anyone I know. And yet someone killed her. And that person is here. That person is one of us. Come on, it's time to put an end to this. I made my way towards the elevator, but with each step I took, I felt like I was moving further and further away from my goal. I could also, feel a hey, chilling Gabe. fear running through me, trying to make me rot from the inside out. What's up? Just a just a cool thing. I have three voices. You have three voices. Are there only Equal six of us Gabriel. left? Yeah. Oh God. There's me. At Hiro, least. Biakia, Toko. At Alvin, least you Yoko. like your voices. I hate two of my yeah. voices. Yeah. Nike's the only decent guy. Hero's an idiot. Like, beyond an idiot. Yeah. And then there's Byakugan. 
No matter how many times we go through with this, it never gets any easier. We climbed into our steel prison in total silence. Look at how it got. We watched the doors close and felt it begin its sinister descent. The elevator lowered, uttering its all too familiar clunking sounds. You remember when this was a cluttered elevator? Yeah. The weight restriction now we disappeared last spacious. game. Did you hear me? No, what? The, uh, the weight that was, uh, weighing this thing down constantly disappeared during the last match. During the last round. me. <laughs> it fell lower and lower. Chapter, yeah, that's what I meant to say. And as suddenly as always, the ride was over. The doors opened once again. Do you like how it changes every time? Yep. The room, I mean. Mm -hmm. okay. Just the six of you, huh? Really? That's so few. You must be so lonely. You said it like it's not your fault. We're all left. That we're all that's left. Actually, to be fair, I have four voices. Be no, five voices. Wow, I got five voices. How? I know Monokuma. Alter ego. Um. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Suddenly, I have more than you. Hey, one two with a class trial and with one less. To be fair, I also have genocide, so I have four. Fuck off. Oh, well, that's fair. Classmate again, or will you lose will your school life come to an end completely? Now then, are we ready to begin? You know the drill, find your assigned seats. I like also, how when Sakura magically resurrects from the dead after this chapter, I'll have five again, so That's fair. She is immortal. And so the curtain opened for the fourth time. A deadly judgment, a deadly deception, a deadly betrayal, a deadly riddle, a deadly defense, a deadly faith, a deadly class trial. What is with you and death? It really doesn't he matter. just likes death. Leave him alone. Set Everybody's some got their thing. Vocabulary increases bullet capacity effective during the bullet time battle. I'm assuming I didn't get any others. I think it's like, because that... Owie fucked us. Yep, Owie. By not hanging out with us. I also wanted to hang out with Sakura, but you know, that didn't work out. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's look at my truth bullets. Give me just a minute, guys. I'm going to go back over the information because this is a new recording. So what do you think happened, Gabe? I think that, uh, like I said last time, there's a couple things that could have been. Um, the thing I don't understand how it would be is if she ended up actually killing herself. Just to fuck up Monokuma's game. Um, but I don't really know why she would do that. Besides that, she definitely did meet with Hiro. That is a, that is a thing that happened. As far as we know, she didn't meet with Byakuya or Toko. Because, you know, it just doesn't seem like either their alibis are fake. And Hiro seemed confused, but then went like, oh, I, I know, I wasn't there. And I'm just like, yeah, okay, sure. Yeah. So, she definitely met with Hero, but is Hero a killer? I think he's an idiot. I, I don't know that he would know how poison works. <laughs> um, it's possible, but I don't have any evidence yeah. to lead there. Also, the footprints that were in the dust were small, and he is six foot tall, and doesn't look like he would have small well, feet. Well, you don't know. Maybe he has a, like, micro-penis, so his feet are also micro-sized. That's not how that works. <laughs> yeah, it is. I'm very afraid that it was Kyoko. Why would it be Kyoko? Because the game doesn't want us to believe it was Kyoko. Okay. And that's literally it. Um, we were with her for most of the day. She was gone for like an hour or whatever while we were in her room. And then we were, you know, called out. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I don't know. Apparently, they had, whoever the culprit is probably has smaller feet than us. That's literally the only info I know there. Okay. Um, I don't know anything past that. Once again, okay. all just theorization we'll see during the trial. 
Paranaut was right. two of my favorite characters in this Let's one match. With a basic explanation. If you can figure out who, then I'll punish everyone besides the blackened. Now we already know who did it. Whoa! Deja vu. Yeah. <laughs> the one who killed Sakura is one of the people that hated her. Byakuya, Toko, or Hiro. It was one of you. It, we already know who did it. One of three people. That's half of the people here. He seems really sure that one of those three is the killer, but she must have some reason for believing that. We already know her reasoning. Man, that's a lot of count. One count. Two count. It was one three of you. count. One of you killed Sakura. And what reason do you have for saying so? Because you all had a motive. You hated her. Is that it? That doesn't make any sense. That's the only reason you have for accusing us? That's as low. That's about as low as you can get. Um. It was one of Let me check one what? thing about the thing. Um, how he's a count. What button? You got that wrong! Break. Another reason you suspect them is because Sakura wanted to meet with them, right? Yeah, and that was right before she died. So there's no doubt about it. One of those three killed her. I can't disagree with Hina. That's good reason to suspect all three of them. Then doesn't mean one of them did it? Blood into your... Bullets? Footprints in the power stash, Sakura's body, and pocket trash. Pocket sand! I don't deny that she wanted to meet with us. I like how Aoi's pony gets like pointy at the end and faced up. I didn't either. Yeah, same here. I never saw her. Come on. There's no way none of you went. At least one of you is lying. You're correct. One of them is definitely lying. I don't deny that I never went. I didn't. Yeah, same here. I never you got that wrong. No, that's wrong. Uh, it's always fun doing that. It is. Hiro, when we were talking before, you dropped a small piece of paper. Remember? It was white with red polka dots. What's that got to do with anything? Red polka dots? That's gotta be the wrapper from the candy I gave Sakura. No, it's. It's. Um. Ever since we got into the warehouse, I totally monopolized that entire box of candy. So there's no way a single one of them was left in the warehouse. In that case, Hero, where did you get that piece of candy? From Sakura. It's the only explanation. Uh, um. Well, I mean. Yeah, sure, I got it from her, but. But she gave it to me forever ago. It doesn't have anything to do with what happened to her. When? When did she give it to you? The last time you saw Sakura was when Hina had to go to the nurse's office, right? Yeah, so I must have got it some time before then. But Hiro said can't be right, because Sakura could only have gotten the candy after the incident in the nurse's office. The reason I know that is... Um, Sakura got the candy... I got it. Easy. Not sure about that, hero. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Hina didn't actually difficult, difficult lemon difficult. Until after she left the nurse's office. So if that was the last time you saw her, there's no reason you should have had that candy. Damn it. Uh, I mean, that was <coughs> Lie to us some uh, more, hero. Lie to us some more. Uh, you're an idiot. Oh, that's right. I did meet up with her in the rec room. You got a problem with that? Why the sudden hostility? But we just talked. That's all. I didn't do anything. You gotta believe me. You're acting incredibly suspicious. You're acting incredibly suspicious. 
It's not just normal hostility. You're the real culprit. I even have proof. Prove it. Huh? Proof? What are you talking about? I'm talking about her shining message. How does he know about that? I don't know. How does he know about that? How does he know about that? Because he wasn't allowed in there. Oh, what a shining message you crime, She had written out Toko in her own blood, right? It was her dying message. Just like what you guys were talking about with Sayaka. How? God, you really... That's true. I saw it for myself. See? See? Toko did it. Um. What are you saying? No way. I didn't do it. You just don't know when you're beat, do you? Hero, hold on. When did you see that dying message of hers? Exactly! Huh? Well, when we found Ogre's body. Duh. But if you recall, Hina was very adamant about keeping you away from the scene of the crime. So it's hard to believe that's when you actually saw the message for yourself. Huh? Hold on. When Koko found the moment and seen the dying message in it, it was on the magazine on the shelf. I got it! Kyoko, you found the magazine on the magazine shelf, right? That's right. Looking through the shelf, I found the magazine with the dying message on it. I found it right there. The Imagine if we time. never found that, and then Hero still tried to use it as a clue. We'd be like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. If that's true, then what Hero just said doesn't really make sense, does it? D doesn't make sense? What doesn't make sense? Everything I said makes perfect sense. Makes like a nickel. <laughs> what up? Just that face. No, there's no obvious problem with what Hero said before. All right, He's let's a dumbass. fix There's a problem this. with everything he says. This better not be this easy. Magazine dying message, status stalker as body, and pop trash. What do you mean this easy? He's an idiot. So he. Uh -huh. Exactly when I found the dying message. When Ogre's body was discovered. And I can tell you when I found the dying message. It was only after the investigation had begun. I found the magazine tucked away on the magazine shelf. When I pulled it out, I saw her final words. What's your problem? What I said. Only after I found the magazine tucked away on the magazine shelf. When I pulled it out. What's your what I said makes total sense. I can tell you exactly when I found the dying mess. When Ogre's body was discovered. You got that wrong. No, it's wrong. Easy. When Sakura's Easy. body was found, Mom. that magazine was sitting on the shelf nearby. That's where Kyoko found it. After we'd begun the investigation. And you weren't at the murder scene. So there's no way you could have seen it then. <laughs> Tell us the truth, Hiro. When did you see the message? Uh, hold on. You're focusing on the wrong part. Why does it matter when I saw it? All you gotta do is read the Vienna sausage Ogre left us, and we know who the killer is. Toko! The what? The Vienna sausage. The what? <laughs> Now I'm hungry. I don't even know where to begin with that one. He's just trying to confuse us. Actually, can we even be sure Sakura wrote that message in the first place? Um, yeah? I think we can all agree Ogre wrote that message. 100%! Without a doubt, she wrote it! And this is me talking, so you know it's true! It's only true 30% of the time. Without a doubt? No, I absolutely do doubt it. There's no way Sakura wrote that message. The moment of truth. I like how Byakugan is not even talking during this. Show me the proof. Yeah, he's just like, I'm at least I don't give a damn. Right. How do you reload? Give it a rest. Uh, I don't know. R. Figured it out. I'm at least 30% right. The occult is bullcrap. The end is nigh. Show me the proof. I'm at least 30% right. The occult is bullcrap. Give it a rest. Easy. <laughs> that was really easy. This should prove it. <clears throat> Done. 
that was way easier than anyone else's. <laughs> yeah, because Hero's way stupider than anyone else. ...that Sakura wrote that dying message. Because if you look at it, the message was almost certainly written using a finger. But both of her hands were completely free of blood. My one issue with this entire thing is that if that was written with wet blood and that was closed, you would not have been able to open it. It would have torn the page trying to open it. Because that's how blood works. Then it's almost like it dried open. It it didn't though because you can see on the other page. Hero could very well have written oh, man, it himself. That's crazy. That would explain how he knew about the message in the first place. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. Ah! He admits it. I figured as much. But why would you write something like that? Because because I killed her. You're admitting to killing her? Please. Explain what happened. I got Ogre's note, and so I headed to the rec room right before noon, just like it said. You just did exactly as the note asked? What a fool. And when I got there... This is new. Even if it's oh, a flashback. Yeah. See? You got your voice back! <laughs> oh yeah! Sorry, but do you mind waiting? I asked a couple of our people to meet as well. So, with, her, with this entire thing, mm -hmm. Hero didn't kill her. He hit her over the head with the bottle twice, but he did not kill her. Whoever poisoned her did. Okay. That's my guess. Keep going. I think that he's just an idiot. Yeah, okay. Would you like a piece of candy? It might help give you some energy. Oh, sure. Uh, thanks. And that's all she said. I like how he After thinks that, he killed her, and he still an eats the silence. candy she gave him. Mm -hmm. Suddenly, I heard her mutter something. This is it. I'm going to end it today. I'm going to end everything. As soon as I heard that... I just knew. <clears throat> I knew she was gonna try and kill me. She killed herself. She was gonna kill me and make her escape. So of course I freaked out, and then I saw my only chance. I grabbed the Monokuma bottle from the shelf and smashed it across her head. I, I hit her from behind before she had any idea what was happening. Then she just went limp. I didn't see her move again after that. Once it was over, I pulled myself together. I realized if I didn't do something, I'd be caught and executed. So I wrote Toko's name in blood across a magazine on the table and I ran away. I can't believe you! You're the worst! I hope you die! Well, that's what happened. Go ahead. Roast me. Boil me. Do whatever you want. You're not gonna get off that easy. It's death. Death for the one that killed Sakura. I mean, that did already happen. That did, in fact, already happen. The one who killed Sakura is, in fact, dead. We're ready to vote now, right? We know who did it. No, I think there's more to Hero's story. What are you talking about? What else could there be? So, the problem, what happened to the other bottle? There's one thing that Hero's mm -hmm. story just now doesn't explain. And until we figure that part out, we can't consider the case closed. So what is it that Hero's story didn't make sense of? Why he... Why the magazine was hidden. I got it. That's true. Everything you just said. It doesn't explain why the magazine was hidden, does it? Huh? By the time the body was discovered, the magazine had been picked up and put on the shelf. Why would you take the time to write that message? Then stick it somewhere we might not find it. Oh. Well, uh, I didn't hide it. I'm sure I just left it sitting there on the table. Really? He's lying. He's gotta be lying. Okay. So, Toko is the one who probably hid the magazine. And maybe hit her over the head with the second bottle? Just to be sure? 
I don't see any reason he would lie now, after already confessing to the crime. Then, he's not lying? Assuming he's telling the truth, someone else must have put the magazine back on the shelf. In other words, at least one other person was in the rec room both before and after the incident. I don't think there's any question about that. But then, who was it? If they went to the trouble of hiding the magazine, they must not have liked what was written on it. Someone who would have liked what was written on it. There's only one choice. I mean, he would have loved this. Yeah. I got it. it had to be Toko, right? Who else would want to hide the magazine other than the person whose name was written on it? Does he write Toko? Did you really go to the rec room? Why would I have... Wait, but more important, that doesn't even matter. We already know who did it, right? Hero just admitted it. That's right. I killed her. No, you didn't. Who asked you? I don't doubt Hero attacked Sakura with the bottle. But that's not where this case ends. What do you mean? What he means is that Hero isn't the killer. You can't be serious. That's just... I don't believe it. Hero. Tell us what happened one more time. If we go through it once more, it should become clear he's not Sakura's killer. Um, so, what do you want me to do? Just tell us what happened one more time when you attacked Sakura. I don't really see why, but okay. We haven't reached the end of this case just yet. Hero isn't the real killer, and I have to prove that. Easy. Kyoko's examination summary, dying message. I didn't want to, but I did it. I grabbed a Monokuma bottle from the shelf nearby. You know, at and least I he's got the gonads to admit he murdered he someone anything? when he thinks he murdered them. You hit her from behind. And you only hit her once, is that right? Yeah, just once. After the first whip, and she went with <laughs> Isn't it all? Hero really is the killer! Hit Sakura, yeah, okay. Let's do this. It's like five or six. You got that wrong. You hit her three times. Twice on the head, one in the ass. 27, actually. Seven, 27 times in the chest. That doesn't explain why she had two head wounds. Two? That's right. She had two separate wounds on her head. And remember, this girl examines dead bodies as a hobby. Personally, I'm inclined to believe her. But I only hit her once. How could she have two wounds? Two wounds means she was struck twice. What's more, both attacks must have come from a Monokuma bottle. Hold on. How can you know that just from some cuts on her head? She was attacked twice with two Monokuma bottles? It's not just because of her head wounds. It's also because of the Monokuma bottles themselves. There's something very suspicious about those bottles. Once you understand that point, you'll understand why two separate Monokuma bottles must have been used. Think back. After the incident, there were four Monokuma bottles left on the shelf. And we found pieces of a bottle on the ground, along with the chest piece it had inside. That was the bottle Hiro hit Sakura with, right? For now, just note that there were four intact bottles and one broken bottle. But originally, there were six bottles in total, meaning one has gone missing. But... How can you know for sure there were six bottles? That's easy. Chest pieces. If you look at what the bottles all had in common, it should become clear. It's a good thing it wasn't checkers. Yeah, I mean, that would be really dumb. The correlation mm -hmm. between the Monica and the bottles feels like it's starting to become clear. That connection must be. Hang on, Gambit. Ha ha! Called it. Yeah. All right. Um, what is this game? See, so chess piece. You are gonna love improved hangman's camera. 
Okay, where's the other S? I mean hate. Oh, great. I thought it was actually an improvement. No. It's worse. P P. P P. Poo poo. Dang, you got me there. Poop 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 poop. Yo, put an S. Spell it the way you want to. No. Um where's E? There we go. In your dreams. I got that right! Now I understand. Now I understand. That's it. The chest pieces. Inside each bottle, there was a monokuma. Did you not already realize that? Mikono? King, Rook, Bishop, Pawn. I definitely remember seeing each of those. And the piece that was inside the broken bottle we found was the knife, if I remember. So, what's that matter? I guess you don't know too much about chess, do you? Then in chess, there are six different pieces. The king, the queen, the rook, knight, bishop, and pawn. What was left intact at the crime scene were the king, rook, bishop, and pawn. Just those four. And on the ground was the knight. Oh! So the queen is missing! So we only have evidence for five bottles at the scene. Well, one apparently went missing. What does chess have to do with anything? Yeah, Shogi is way better! Gungi is even better. We're trying to get you to not die. Shut up. Yeah. Wait, no, that's not what I mean. So, let's say a bottle did go missing. There's still no evidence that has anything to do with this case. That bottle could have disappeared any time before the murder. No. It's clear that the missing bottle is connected to this case. How is it clear? Think about what state the missing bottle must have been in. Maybe then you'll understand. Wait, the bottle was missing. Maybe then you'll get it. He was excited. I got it. excited. The bottle must have been broken. What makes you so sure? Because there was evidence at the scene that supports it. Huh? That's right. We found evidence that shows there was more than just one broken bottle at the scene. And what is this evidence? Um... Yep. I got it! Earlier, got it. Kyoko and I did a little experiment. We compared the weight of the broken bottle pieces at the scene to one of the unbroken bottles. Easy. And what we found was that the collection of pieces was heavier. And the Rest reason in for pieces, that is Monokuma bottle. There was actually more than one bottle's worth of shattered glass. <sighs> so from this, we can surmise that two bottles were actually broken at the scene of the crime. But someone did their best to clean up the pieces of one of the bottles, along with the figure inside. But when they did, they must have left behind a few too many pieces, which is only natural. They certainly had no way to measure the exact right number of pieces to remove. Also, they're dumb and have a lisp and stutter a lot, and has multi-personality disorder, so they probably got distracted and sneezed. I'm talking about you, Toko. Also, it's dissociative identity disorder. You're correct, but also shut up. There can be no doubt that the second missing Monokuma bottle is involved in this case. It must have been used by um, some bowling, bowling aficionados. aficionados. <laughs> bowling aficionados. Come on. That almost sounds like nachos. Mm, nachos. The second wound on Sakura's head came from that second bottle. Given all the evidence, this is the only possible conclusion. The killer wanted to make it look like there was only one attack, so they had to get rid of their evidence. From there, we can conclude that it wasn't Hiro who delivered that second blow. Wouldn't you agree, Toko? And there's the matter of the magazine. You must have been in the rec room when the incident took place. Wait! I admit, maybe there was a second attack, but but there's no evidence I had anything to, to do with it. No way! You killed her! I'm sure of it! You're an idiot. That was a fast turnaround, buddy. Until two seconds ago, you were claiming you killed her!
killed her. I'm not afraid to admit when I'm wrong. That's just the kind of guy I am. Yeah, you admit it a lot then. I just remembered something that proves it. Okay, fine. Let's hear it. It was right after I got Ogre's note. I was kind of nervous about it, so I went to the rec room early. You know, to stake it out or whatever. So I was waiting there, and that's when I saw her. I saw Toko go into the rec room. You did? Pretty soon, Ogre showed up, and she went into the rec room. I assumed Toko was still in there, so I figured everything would be okay. That's why I headed in. But when I got inside, Ogre was all alone. Toko had disappeared. And you just now decided to share that with us? After the shock of thinking I'd killed someone, I forgot all about it. <sighs> Could someone tighten the screws on his brain? I think they've come loose. So, Toko, Were there ever the you disappear to? in the first place? You don't know what you're nice talking menorah wall. In the rec room? I'm sure she didn't disappear, but maybe she found somewhere to hide. This is actually going like a normal case, and this is weird. Hiding in Why? The rec room? Don't be ridiculous. After last one, it's very weird. What? The first one was just a lot of screaming, No, that's not me! I didn't do it! Prove it, you asshole! And it was like, okay, I'll prove it. The second one was... The third one was just a lot of nonsensory, nonsensicalness, and just... Fuck. And this one's just like, oh, hey, I did it. And just like, no, you didn't. And she's like, wait, I didn't? Oh. Then you did it. And I'm just gonna be like, no, she didn't do it either. <laughs> like, this, like, it's, this is just everyone thinking they killed her, and she killed herself. Why are you all ganging up on me? Everyone explaining how they killed Sakura, but none of them actually killed Sakura. <laughs> then Biakin went, yeah, yeah, I kicked her in the dick twice, but turns out she didn't have one, so I'm very confused now. And Kyoko's gonna be like, yeah, I shot her twice in the head with a shotgun, and I don't even know. It's just like, well, I said mean things to her once, and I think that might have been it. And technically, that would mean that we were the one who killed her, because she killed herself. Oh. <laughs> no, it's not ridiculous at all. There's definitely proof that shows Toko is hiding in the rec room. A new element has been added to the bullet time battles. This late in the game? Alright, sure. <laughs> so far you've been probably pressing the Y button during your final strike without a second thought. But now from now on you're going to have to pay a little extra attention to your finishing blow. Now if you choose the proper truth bolt to use during the tour de gras, you'll select it the same way during a non-stop debate so by pressing the LB and like it. And also like the debate, if your logic difficulty is set to kind, you'll have fewer bolts to choose from. But for educational purposes, we're just going to pretend that you're set to meme regardless. Just this once, okay? Oh, by the way, you're about halfway through the game now. Go you. Woo! What? Woo! This is the halfway point with six people left? That's almost a third. Woo! How? What if I told you, Gabe, that there's one more trial after this one? I'd be very confused how that's halfway. Well then, good luck and have fun. Yes, have fun with Nyada. The moment of truth. It's a lie! I admit nothing! I hate you! I curse you! No, no, no! That's enough! I admit nothing! I curse you! You got that wrong! Did you know someone left a handprint behind on the inside of the walker? They must have been hiding in there and put their hand on the wall without thinking. Does this handprint look familiar, Toko? That I somehow took a picture of and brought with me to the courtroom? No, it doesn't. Okay then, let's just compare it to your hand, shall we? That'll clear everything up, right? It'd be really funny if she was caught for murdering someone after her alternate personality was killing so many people out in that, you know, world. That would be so ironic. Yeah. Stop wasting my time. 
just tell us the truth. Okay, it's my handprint. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Biaki. All you had to do was that in the first place. Just get Biaki to ask her. <laughs> she just straight up admitted it. Then you killed Sakura. No, I swear, there's no way. Out with it. I probably did kill her. <laughs> <laughs> Give us the details, Toko. What happened between you and Sakura? Talk. Now. After I read Sakura's note, I decided to go there early, so I went into the rec room. I didn't know what she might do if I didn't even go, but I was too scared to face her head on. So I figured I'd just sneak in first and hide in the locker. And then, did you see what happened? Did you see me hit her? Yes. And I saw you write my name. I saw you forge her dying message. Well, that's awkward. Ooh. <laughs> Taco -taco moment. Uh, this is hilarious. So after he left, I jumped out of the locker and put the magazine back on the shelf. But when you did, you put it back upside down. I didn't mean to. I was in a hurry. Imbeciles, all of you. Forget all that. Why did you attack Sakura? After I put the magazine back, I heard a sound behind me like a like a monster growling. Did Toko not put it back upside down? No, she did. Okay, I'm just wondering if Sakura stood up after she was hit the second time, picked it up, vomited on the ground some blood, put the thing back up say on just to fuck with her and went back to her seat and died. <laughs> That'd be really funny. And when I turned around there was Sakura covered in blood and staring right at me. When I saw all that blood, I fainted right there in front of the magazines. Ah, uh, okay. I don't remember what happened after that. If you want to know more, you'll have to ask her. Her, you mean? Ah, get it back! Yay! It's the best voice. It's a good thing this is so convenient. My fault, Master's fault. When our faults combine, they soar to even greater heights. Just answer the question: Did you kill Sakura? Well, to be honest, Miss Morose and me don't actually share our memories, so I can't really say what was going on. But I was just minding my own business, sleeping peacefully when someone shook me awake. Was it a prince paying me a visit? I wonder. So I opened my eyes to see... Splatter everywhere! I was not prepared for that. And, well, I guess it took me by surprise. I got so startled, I smacked her with the first thing I could find! Which I guess was a bottle. Sakura was just worried about you, and you... You're terrible! No, she's terrible! Thanks to her, I murdered someone who wasn't an adorable boy for the first time ever! And when it was <laughs> all over, you collected the pieces of the bottle to get rid of the evidence, didn't you? I wasn't about to die for some woman! If I'm gonna go down, I want it to be for killing Master! Just go away and die your meaningless death alone. Don't drag me into it. But I just can't catch a break, you know? Fate's got it out for me. Cause normally, Sakura should have been able to dodge my attack, no problem! Even as strong as she is, she must have still been reeling from Hero's attack. Hey, come on! Incorrect. That's, you know, but anyway, I'm not the one that killed Ogre! So that's good! So it's good to keep talking like that, and Hina's gonna. Well, then, that's that. Let's start the vote. Huh? I thought for sure you'd have some words for here on that one. What's wrong? Come on, everyone, we're ready to vote, right? Let's do this. <sighs> I I really don't want to believe it's you, Ali. I really just want to believe that Sakura killed herself. No, not quite yet. Huh? Not yet? Why not yet? Don't you think there was something odd about Toko's story? I mean, you had to have noticed. Odd? Huh? Hero's attack, and then Toko's, but that still wasn't the end of it. It wasn't? Tell us your story one more time. Tell us what happened after you fainted. He's actually being useful for once. Then even this gaggle of idiots should understand what I'm talking about. You wish my command, darling? 
It's not over yet, is it? The one who killed Sakura is me.